hello and today I'll be making a German dish it's called Spätzle and uh, using Schwäbisch Eier Spätzle you can get in German supermarket you can get two different ones this is a fresh uh, freshly made Spätzle and you can also get a dried one but fresh one tastes better and we cook this with um, cheese Käse and I use this Emmentaler cheese you can also use other kind of cheese uh, you just need this kind of shredded cheese and together we will make a Käse Spätzle <laughs> okay and here I have cooked, cooked some of the noodles and um, you can see from here these are non-cooked and they're pretty oily you can also just bake them in the pan straight away but I prefer to cook them in advance put in the boiling water a bit of salt and cook them until they're floating in the water then they're done Traditionally, spätzle, Germans are making spätzle at home. You can use uh, special tools and the flour, egg, and water, mixing them, use the tool and you can make them yourself. But uh, here we use pre-made one. Here is a well-known uh, German noodle brand. It's called Burger, like Citizen. You can also buy the same brand uh, for Maultasche and other special German German food okay we turn the stove to low and medium low heat and here we will need a bit of butter um, I think 50 grams of butter for about uh, two people two or three people here we let the butter melt at the same time we can put in onion or you can use shallots we still fry the shallots While this is a cooking, we can add two tablespoons of uh, cream fish. When the cream fresh and butter are both melted and the onion or shallots get softened, and then we can add in our spatula. We spread the spatula in the pan evenly. Now we can turn the heat a bit higher, medium high heat, to let it cook. Now we just leave the spatula and onion everything in the pan, let it cook. Now when it's cooking, we can put in our cheese. Have the quantity is all up to you. All you want is to totally cover your spatula with cheese. Okay. 
Now you can see the heat is actually cooking the noodle through and then heating up the cheese. So the cheese is melting at the same time above the noodle. Be patient and try not to turn it while it's still cooking. Now we can turn it. Try to cut it to a quarter. It's okay. Now we turn our spätzle, spätzle and then we can put the rest of the cheese in. Maybe when you cook it at home, try not to turn the heat too, too high because the onions are really thin and they easily get burnt. And the secret of cooking perfect spätzle is to make both sides really crispy. So it's important to cook it through too, but you really have to keep an eye on it. Now we try to turn it again. Now you can see here is the crust from our cheese. That's what we want for perfect spätzle. Now you can try to spread it out a bit. So all of the noodles are getting crispy. The crispier the better. Tastes better. If you see some burnt pieces, usually it's the onions or shallots, and then you can pick them out. But if you um, set it always on low and medium low heat, and then it wouldn't really happen, but it takes longer. Always trying to turn them so they get crispy on both sides. Our Käse Spätzle is cooked and uh, we can put it on the plate. This amount. And now we can put a bit of uh, spring onion on top. You have it, our Käse Spätzle, and uh, I prefer to have it low salt. But if you like it, you can put salt and pepper before you're eating them. Okay, I will give it a try. Bon appetit! Mm. It's really crispy, and it's filled with. Mm, the taste of um, eggs of the noodle and the really strong taste of the cheese too. Hope you like it. 
If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.